Hello and welcome to the Educator Classroom's Guide from AWS Educate. AWS Educate members now have access to expanded features provided by Educational Cloud Lab Environment Provider, Vocarium. These new features provide simple, secure, and no-cost learning environments for educators and students to leverage AWS on projects, assignments, and other classroom environments without needing a credit card. Let's get started by going to aweseducate.com. From here, you will log in as an AWS educator. You are now at the main AWS Educate homepage. From this page, you can access a lot of resources. Today, we're gonna to focus in on classroom creation. To get to your class and to create or request a class, go to the top where it says classroom and credits. Requesting an AWS Educate Classroom is as simple as three steps. Prior to selecting from step one, think about the projects you want your students to work on or the assignments you're gonna have them do. Take a look at the resources that will be provisioned based on each one of these categories. So in this case, I know that I want my students to have access to EC2, S3, uh, as we're talking about some basics of the AWS cloud. I'll select that one. I also want to talk about building scalable websites. So we'll select that template as well. And I want them to have access to Cloud9. So I will select that template also. You can select a maximum of three templates. Once you've selected the templates, click Next to enter your classroom detail. Here's a quick example of details that I filled out for a course. Make sure to provide as much information as you can, really focusing in on making sure you have a description, a link, the start and end date for your course, and the amount of credit that you would request per student. If you need more than the $50 or less, simply add that here. If it is more than the $50, we just ask you provide a little bit more information about what you'll be doing in that course. Once you're finished, click Next. The third and final step is to download the email template so that you can upload your roster of students. Download the template here, add your student email addresses, and then upload that file back to AWS Educate. Once you've finished, click Submit, and your classroom request will be reviewed within three to four business days. You will receive an email notification once your classroom is approved. To manage your classroom, you can get to it two ways. At the very top, under Classrooms and Credits, or scroll down to My Classroom to be taken directly to your classroom. From this page, you can manage all the classrooms you've created. You can also get a very quick snapshot of the number of students that have been invited, registered, and then the credit allocated per student. From here, you can also go in, find out more details about your class, invite more students to your course, remove students, or do this action in bulk. In this case, we're gonna go into my course named AWS Cloud. From here, I can manage all of my classes. In this case, I'm just taking a look at my AWS Cloud class. I can also go into my AWS Starter account. If I want just a quick snapshot of what all of my students are doing, I click on the right here where it says Accounts. This gives me a quick snapshot of what all students are doing in my classes. From here, I can select an individual student and get an activity or resource report. If I click on to my dashboard, I can go into individual students. Selecting a student, I can again see their activity and then also go into their very own work area. Clicking into their work area provides me a snapshot of what they are doing in their own account. I can see how much credit has been used, how much remaining. I can also go into their AWS console. This allows me to go in and help them if they're having an issue. I can see anything they're doing within their own console and help them troubleshoot. If you would like to learn more about how to use AWS Educate in your classroom, be sure to go to the main homepage and click on Professional Development. There are a lot of resources under the Professional Development page. I would suggest getting started and how to use Pathways. This module is a great introduction to how to use AWS Educate in your classroom.